Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise the most yeah. high God. We are excited to be in your presence on tonight. Yes. First of all, thank you for allowing Pastor Ben not to come into your homes. We are Pastors Leroy and Betty Barnes, the proud pastors of Relentless, Relentless. and Hallelujah. Relentless Lower Church is where? Love, Love reigns. reigns. So good evening, everyone. We hope and pray that once again you had a wonderful week. Uh, we are ready and excited to share the word of the living God with you. Hey, Miss Linda Maples, good to see you. God bless you. We love you, darling. And we're ready to teach the word of God. Pastor Betty, you want to say hi to everyone? I just want to say good evening. Thank you so much for tuning in on tonight. We appreciate every opportunity the Lord allows us to come and to be a part of your life on this evening. And uh, if, whenever you tune in, we ask that you would just press the share uh, hey, button Kristen. so that you could uh, be a blessing to your family, your friends, your loved ones, and your co-workers, whoever it may be, your circle of mm -hmm. influence, we are mm -hmm. so appreciative of the opportunity. Absolutely. Listen, we had corporate prayer last night. We yes. just want to thank our team for speaking the word of God and agreeing with you uh, that, that victory is already yours and you shall walk in it. So we had a wonderful time yes. it, during corporate prayer and we have it every third Tuesday mm -hmm. at 7.30 on our Zoom conference call. Yes. And of course, everyone is it's always welcome to tune in. So, God bless you. We're excited about the word Amen. of this evening. Amen. So, Pastor, we ready? All right, we're excited. So, remember, yes. nothing happens until we pray. So, don't yes. stop praying. Don't stop praying for your husband, your mm. uh, wife, your family, your pastors, your church. Don't stop praying for the, watch this one. Don't stop praying for the end time harvest. When this is all said and done, oh, so true. we want to make sure that we're believing God yes. to save people, mm -hmm. that God will use you, God will use me, my yes. wife, God will use Relentless Global Church and other churches that are open in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. Yes. If I be lifted up, I will draw all men. That's draw. what Jesus said, that That's we believe in says. preaching the gospel of his kingdom. And at the end of the day, it's about seeking yes. and saving that which is lost. God's going to bless you with your house and all these things that we believe for. Exactly. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. But at the end of the day, kingdom ministry yeah. and kingdom work is about reaching the lost. Yes. Amen. So we want to thank yeah. those who are on the prayer line and thank those who believe uh, that when we pray, we're like Jesus. Yes. He hears us yes, he every does. time we pray. Every time well, look, we're going to close this lesson tonight on world wow. overcomers. I think tonight's going to be the last lesson on this, on tonight. We're believing God for another new series on next Wednesday, but let's see what we can do on tonight. Okay. World overcomers. Everybody say to pastor, I am. I am a world overcomer. A world overcomer. First John five and four says, "Whoever is born of God, what do they do? They overcome the world." Yes. So, to, so at the beginning here, we must be in Christ, mm -hmm. and this is the victory that overcomes the world. What? Even yeah. our faith. Yes. So we define that if you're going to be, hey, Miss Vicky, California, good to see you, Miss Vicky. God bless you. We send the love of Jesus Christ to you. Amen. Uh, to be an over world, uh, to be an overcomer is defined one who succeeds. In dealing with or gaining control of some problem or difficulty. Hmm. Number two, an overcomer is someone who prevails or rises above hardships. Hmm. Anything that they face, they rise above it. Yes. And lastly, an overcomer is one who has the ability to finish their course. Oh, and I love that one. <laughs> Everybody write back, to, write back to me today and say, I finish my course. I finish my course. This quote was given last week as well. Everyone who wants to be an overcomer, mm. uh, everyone wants to be an overcomer, but they aren't willing to endure what it takes to get there. Mm. So there are things you must, you and I must have the ability to endure. Because it's not going to always be ice cream and cake and pie. Sometimes we're going to have to eat some vegetables and sometimes we're going to have to go through our health stuff and believe God to make us healthy and make us strong. But at the end of the day, we're overcoming this. I don't care what you're in. Come on. I don't care what's happening in your life. Yes. I don't care what's happening in your marriage. You say, I overcome this. I overcome this. So last Wednesday, Lord. we closed with Numbers 13 and 30 where we looked at Joshua and Caleb. We were looking at examples of overcomers. And, and remember, Joshua and Caleb were the last two of the original people that came out of Egypt. Yes. And they were the original ones that lived because when they went into the promised land, and uh, Moses the prophet told him to go and see if what God said was true. They came back with the evidence. They came back with the fruit. Yes, God is a healer. Yes, God is a provider. 
Yes, God is a restorer. Yes, everything that the Bible says is true. true yes. But then some folks say we don't believe all that because they're giants. <laughs> well, if you're gonna if the oh. if if the doctor says you have cancer, that's a giant. Oh my god. But it doesn't mean God's not a healer. That's true. That is true. Your, your banker says you're in the negative. But that doesn't mean God can't prosper you. That's right. It is based on what you and I believe. Amen. I believe I'm a world overcomer. Yes. yes. So Caleb quieted the people before <laughs> Moses, Numbers 13 and 30, and he oh said, let us go up at once and we'll do what? Take possession. Take it. And the Bible says in Matthew 11 and 12, let's write these scriptures down. Tony Sabaj, God bless you, my brother. I called you. I hope to hear from you soon. Love you, my brother. Love the Sabaj family. Amen. But then watch what the Bible says in Matthew 11 and 12. The Bible says, from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of God or the kingdom of heaven, heaven suffers violence and the violence take by force. By so force. you're going to have to be a little violent. You're going to have to have some crazy faith. Wow. You're going to have to be able to stand up in the midst, in, in the very middle of debt. My God. You have to declare... I'm debt free. Yes, we are. In the in the middle of sickness, yes. you have to declare, I'm overcoming this sickness and this disease. Hey. I'm believing I receive my healing. Hey, and man. that's what this is all about. See, an overcomer has something to say. Has an overcomer has say. a cocky, arrogant attitude in, in uh -huh. God. A cocky, <laughs> arrogant attitude in God. I win. Come on, I everybody win. right back to say, I, I win. win. Yes, we do. Now, to be a world overcomer, mm. We are in a spiritual fight, mm -hmm. not a natural fight, uh -huh. but a spiritual fight. Uh -huh. Ephesians 6 and 12. Ephesians 6 and 12 says, for we do not, listen to this, we do not fight against flesh and blood. So I don't, I'm not fighting against my wife. That's right. My wife is not fighting against me. That's right. I'm not fighting against the church members. The church members are not fighting against me. Mm -hmm. But the Bible says, what is the real fight? It's not against flesh and blood, but it's against principalities. Watch this. Spiritual wickedness or spiritual angels. It's an order of death angels. That's the translation I read today. It's, it's an order of death angels assigned against you to kill your dream, to kill your vision, to kill your faith, to kill everything in you that's about Christ. So there are principalities, powers, Against rulers of darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts. So it's not a natural fight; it's a spiritual fight Faithful. against wickedness in high places. Uh -huh. But when watch this, but when you choose to get in Christ, or when you choose to accept Jesus Christ as Lord, now I'm with someone who's already overcome. Already. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Luke eighteen and twenty seven. <sighs> Luke 18 and 27, this let me slow good. down. It says, Amen. What, what is impossible with men, natural, flesh, but with God is all things are possible, spirit, because uh -huh. God is a spirit. Yeah. So it's impossible if I'm in my flesh. Come on. But it's possible if I'm in the spirit. Uh-huh. In the spirit is to be in Christ. Everybody write back and say in Christ. In Christ. Romans 8 and 31. Amen. Romans 8 and 31. Because if I'm in Christ, my brother, my mm -hmm. sister, I already have the victory yes. that overcomes the world. Yes. yes. Romans 8 and 31 says, mm -hmm. What shall we say to these things? Mm -hmm. If God, a spirit, is for us, who can be against us. Come on. You know what that scripture says? Yes. I've already overcome. That's right. He's saying it, 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 it doesn't matter what comes. It doesn't matter what they say. Yes. You know, they are always going to have something to say. Of course. It doesn't matter what they say. It matters that we believe that God is for me. God is a spirit. So if I'm in the spirit and God is in me and I'm in God... I've already overcome. I'm not trying to overcome. I'm not believing to overcome. I've already overcome the world. Let, let's, let's, let's look at this one. Colossians chapter 2 verse 9. Let's slow it down. Yes, sir. Colossians <laughs> chapter 2 verse 9. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank because I, I want you to rise, people yes. of God. 
Yes, we should. Because life will happen. Yes. So let, let's settle that. Yes. Life will happen. When the gas prices went up, mm -hmm. it went up on everybody. Yeah. When inflation went up, it went up on everybody. Yeah. When the pandemic came, yeah. the, pa the pandemic affected everybody. Yes. But I'm not in this world. Yes. I'm not of this world. Uh -huh. I'm connected to another world called the kingdom of God in the realm of the spirit. The of the I got to come out of this flesh yes. because it's not flesh and blood. You have to enter into a realm of the spirit. Yes. But watch what Paul says to the church at Colossae. Mm. For in him. For in him. Let, let, let's, let's, <laughs> it's in him. Yes. It's not in me. It's not about me, flesh and blood. Come on. It's in him, yes. the realm of the spirit, that dwells all the fullness of the Godhead, God the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, all that was in the body of Jesus bodily. And this is this is so important. Oh my God. In him. And mm -hmm. you are complete where? In him. In him. In Christ. In Christ. Who is the head of all principality? I oh. need you to write that one down. Yes. All principality. Yes. Jesus Christ, because I'm in Christ. Yes. And the Bible, Paul to the Colossian church says that Jesus Christ is the head of all principality and he is the head of all power. Principality is defined as rule or ruler or it means authority, power or dominion. Remember, that's what Jesus gave uh, Adam and Eve in the garden. He gave them authority, he gave them power, Amen. and he gave them dominion. Amen. What was the purpose of the second Adam? To come back and restore to you and I, the church, power, authority, rule, and dominion. Amen. Come on, man, listen. Power, yes, we authority, have. Yes, we have. rule, yes. and what? Dominion. dominion. Everybody write dominion. Dominion. How do you know, Pastor? <laughs> That it is the will of, that Jesus is the will of God for Jesus to have this power and that I have this power as well. Because I want to prove to you yes. that you are not a victim. I want to prove to you that you are not alone no, we because are not. he promised to never leave you nor to forsake you. So he's an ever present help ever -present. in the time of trouble because he lives on the inside of me. Yes. I am never alone. Never. I'm always overcoming. Come on. Yes, sir. Matthew 28 and 18 <laughs> seals this. Mm. And you, you see, you got to write these scriptures down. You need to go over these scriptures and you need to listen to Pastor teach over and over again on Facebook Live because the word of God continues to come and increases your faith to believe I am, not trying to be, I am yes. a world overcomer. But watch what Jesus says in Matthew. Matthew, yes. Jesus said and spoke these words saying, uh -huh. All authority. All authority. Which translated power and dominion. All authority has been given unto me, Jesus. In heaven, I have authority. And on earth, I have authority. But this is the part that's going to bless you forever. He's given us the keys to the kingdom of heaven. Pastor Rages, welcome tonight. He's given you and I. He's giving you and I, Pastor Ben and I, yes. you and I, the keys to the kingdom of heaven, which unlocks the power of God. And now Amen. what's in heaven it comes does. on earth. Yes, it does. Jesus Christ defeated Satan, death, and the grave. And when he, when he was risen from that grave on that third day, he declared these words, all power. All power. All authority. Hallelujah. All dominion Absolutely. has been given all. unto me yes. in heaven and on earth. But yes. here it is again. I'm in him. <laughs> so that means Ooh. I have Whatsoever. all authority. Yes, I do. I have yes, I do. all dominion. Oh, I God. have Thank you, all Lord. power. I'm not praying for this. Yes. I have it. I'm not believing to receive. I have have it, my glory to God. I just want you to understand. I don't care what will happen to you to you tonight. I don't care what negative news you heard on the phone. I don't care what negative news you seen seen on CNN and and Fox News. What I'm telling you tonight is it. this: mm -hmm. you already have the victory. Yes, we do. You already overcome. Yes, we have. Every need in my life is met. Yes, I have peace. 
I have it. I'm not praying for it. I have it. Jesus said, my peace I leave with you. Not as the world has given, the world has peace, but the peace that I have, I have given it to you, which means I already have peace. I already have a sound mind. I'm not going to let my children stress me out. I'm not going to let the world stress me out. There is no, there is no such thing as stress in the kingdom. I have shalom. I have peace. I have power. I have dominion over everything. Everything that comes in my life. Everything. Who are the overcomers? Yes, we are. <laughs> Who are the overcomers? Well, number one, those that are led by the original overcomer, which is Jesus Christ. Yes. If you're led by Jesus Christ, then Jesus Christ will lead you into dominion. If you're led by Jesus Christ, Come he on. will lead you into power. Yes. That means there's not an addiction that can overtake me. There's not a drug addiction that can overtake me. There's not an alcohol demon that can attach to me because I already have a, a power and authority. Yes, we do. Because Christ has overcome, I overcome. Well, let me read it to you. John 16 and 33. Yes. John 16 <laughs> and 33. Write it down Text somebody this scripture and let them know there's some power you got, my brother, some power you have, my sister. Yes. Watch this scripture. Come on. These things, uh -huh. Jesus talking. Yes. I have spoken unto you, you. Uh -huh. that in me, there it goes again, in, in Christ, <laughs> you may have peace, uh -huh. shalom, uh -huh. nothing missing, nothing broken. Uh -huh. In the world. So watch the, the, the parallel. In Christ, I have peace. Yes. In the world, I have tribulation. In the Greek, it's translated lipsis. It's spelled T-H-L-I-P-S-I-C. -I I'm giving you the word so you can look it up for yourselves okay. to let you know that what I'm telling you is the truth. Okay. The Greek word lipsis is translated to crush. So in the world system, it wants to crush you. Oh, it wants God. to press you. To, to hem you in, to hem you up, is to break you, is to place pressure upon you, so much pressure, so much stress, that will call you to quit on your marriage, quit on your job, quit on your family, Come quit on, on your career, quit on your church, because wow. it's so much pressure to where people are walking away from the church. But Jesus said, if you yes. just get inside of me, me <laughs> yes. you will receive Peace. Come on. Shalom. Yes. Not the trouble. Come on. Not the stress. Yes. But shalom. Yes, sir. First John four Ooh. and four. Glory to God. That's good. I'm just letting you know you've already overcome. Yes. If you get inside of Christ. Yes. If you study Christ. Yes. If you meditate on Christ. Yes. The Savior of the world. The one who overcame the devil. The one who overcame death. That's the Jesus I'm talking about. Come on. Watch what he says in John. Yes. <laughs> you are of God, little children. He's talking about the immature. Watch this. Even the immature, the little children, those who don't know as much. Watch what the scripture says to the immature. You are of God, little children. Yes. And have overcome them. Because he who is in you is greater than he that's in the world. Even the immature can win. Hallelujah. <laughs> you just need to know that greater is he, Jesus, that's in me, Jesus, that's than he that is in the world. You know what that's saying? That you get you, you committed your life to Christ? Amen. Let's look at this one as we kind of close it out. Number two. Who are those that are overcomers? Mm. Those that are born of God and have the victorious faith that backs it up. Yeah. Those that are born of God. Watch John 3 and 3. I love this scripture. <laughs> John 3 yeah. and 3. Yes, yeah, I love it. <laughs> Jesus said to Nicodemus, Most assuredly I say to you, Nicodemus, unless one is born again, you can't see the kingdom of God. You can't see it. 
You can't perceive it. You don't know it exists. Wow. Except you become born, born again. again. Right back to Pastor say you must be born again. You must be born again. He's saying, come into me and allow me to come into you. Because John 14 and 6 says, I am the way. Yes, not is. Buddha, not Muhammad. I am the way. Not Judaism, not Scientology. I am the way, uh -huh. the truth, uh -huh. the life. No man comes to the Father except through me. So you have to go through Christ if you're going to become an overcomer. We're not talking about just being saved. We're not talking about dying and going to heaven. I'm talking about being alive on this earth and living in victory. I'm not waiting to go to heaven to walk on streets of gold to have victory. I'm not waiting to go to heaven to have prosperity. I can have it on this side of heaven if I can get in Christ. Stop talking stupid and crazy. Stop speaking depth to your life. But understand that you must get born again. So many of us will say, but pastor, I'm born again. But do you know him? Do you have an, a, a personal, intimate relationship with him? Because if you know him, then you have his ways. If you have his ways, you have his mind. Amen. If you have his mind, you have his will. Amen. And if you have his will, you have his purpose. purpose. Meaning that for this purpose and for this cause came I into the world to overcome it that you can win. Come on here. <laughs> to overcome life Ooh. so you can win. Yes. To overcome death so you can win. Yes. To overcome lack so you can win. Amen. Glory to God. Yes, sir. Romans 8 and 37. Amen. Who are those who are overcomers? Those that are born again. Uh -huh. Romans 8 and 37. Mm -hmm. Yet in all these things, mm -hmm. we are more than conquerors. I'm not a conqueror. <laughs> I'm more. I'm more than. Come on, right then. <laughs> more, more than a conqueror. <laughs> I'm not a conqueror. I just want you to understand, I'm not a victim. Uh -huh. I'm not a whiner. I'm not a complainer. I'm not a quitter. I'm a conqueror. I'm an overcomer. I'm a winner. I'm victorious. <laughs> I'm just trying to tell you. Number one, conqueror means overwhelming victory. Oh, not just victory. <laughs> overwhelming victory. Number yes. two, it's victory over all of my adversaries. Yes. There's not a one who will overcome you. David, I have the anointing of David. Uh -huh. David had 40 victories in his lifetime mm. and never lost one. Number three, the final score, uh -huh. this is me talking, the final score, uh -huh. we win. That's it. Everybody say, I win. I win. The final <laughs> score as an overcomer, Yes. I win. I win. Number four, Yes. never separated I am never separated from his love. Never. If I'm never Thank ever Lord. separated from this love, you, then Lord. I overcome everything that tries to hate me. Ooh. Haters all around me, but it doesn't matter. I'm in his love. Yes. I can overcome the past mistakes. I can overcome the past relationships. I can overcome the past decisions. But I'm inside of his love mm -hmm. and I overcome my past. Yes, we do. And lastly on this, number five. Facing the trials of life <laughs> with great certainty. Yes. Let me yes. say it again. To be an overcomer. <laughs> I'm facing the trials of my life with, with great. great certainty that I overcome it. Yes. It's just like the woman with the issue of blood. She walked out of the house with absolutely no doubt that if I touch the hem of his garment. I shall, listen to the words of confidence. Yep. I shall be made whole. Absolutely. And what happened to her? Yep. She touched him. Yep. And what came out? World overcoming power. <laughs> and anointing that caused her blood to dry up. Yes. And she won her life back yes, she because did. she believed. Totally whole. Number three, who Amen. are overcomers? Lastly, number three, Ooh. who are overcomers? Yes. Those who, oh, I'm sorry, not the last one, number three, number four. Number three is, number one is, <laughs> let me get it right because I want to get confused. Number one is, who are overcomers? Those who are led by the overcoming himself, Jesus Christ. Number uh -huh. two, who are overcomers? Okay. Those that are born of God and have a victorious faith. Number three, here we go, number three, who are overcomers? 
those who are maturing and growing in their faith. Maturing. 1 John 2 and 13. Oh, <laughs> those who are maturing, you can't, my brother, listen to me, especially mm. my brothers, mm. listen to me. Mm. You can't stay the same. Yes. You and I, brothers, must grow. Yes. I gave all the brothers this past Father's Day a book. I am expecting you, man of God, to read the book. I don't care if you read two pages a day. Read the book until you finish it. It's not long. It's not deep. It's just talking about your manhood. That you cannot stay the same. So sisters, wives, encourage your husbands to read that book. Amen. But watch that. Those who are growing and maturing, they're overcomers. 1 John 2 and 13. I write to you fathers. Yes. Fathers are mature. Uh -huh. Because fathers, you have known him. Known him who is from the beginning, Jesus Christ. I write to you, young men. Now watch the level of maturity. Now he's starting with fathers. The highest level of maturity should be fathers. Yes. Now fathers are to teach, watch this, young men. Uh -huh. I write to you, young men, because you have overcome the wicked one. So uh -huh. here's levels of growth. Uh -huh. Then he says, I write to you, little children. Watch the three levels. Uh -huh. Little children, young men, now fathers. Levels of maturity. Watch this. But we are all overcomers. Yes. Oh. I write to you, little children, because you have known the Father. Uh -huh. I have written to you, fathers, because you have known him who is from the, begin from the beginning. I have written to you, young men, because you are strong. Yes. And the word of God abides in you. Watch this. The levels of maturity are based on God's word that you know. What would happen once you get the word of God and you understand it? Here's the end of John, John, John 2 and 14. And you have overcome the wicked one because you chose to take God's word and read the word, read the book pastor gave you free of charge so that you can grow and mature and become a better father. Amen. He's calling little children to become young men, levels of growth. Amen. And young men to mature into fatherhood or to become fathers or mature. And listen to this quote. When people try to bury you, remember that you are a seed. Yes, we are. A seed is sown. Yes, we are. And it's expected to grow. Amen. Amen. And lastly on tonight, number four. Mm -hmm. Those that have, who are overcomers? Those that have a lifelong spirit of perseverance. Amen. Don't quit. Yes. Everyone, everyone write back and say, don't quit. Don't quit. Last scripture on tonight, Revelation 2 and 26. And he who overcomes and keeps my word works Hallelujah. until the end. To him, I will give power over the nations. Amen. Let me read it again. Yes. Revelation 2 and 26. Amen. And he who overcomes. Yes. And keeps my works yes. until the end. Yes. To him. To him. <laughs> I will give power yes. to overcome the nations. Hallelujah. Romans 14, 8. For if we live, we live to the Lord. And if we die, we die to the Lord. Yes. Whether we live or whether we die, uh -huh. we are the Lord. Amen. Lastly, this last quote, and we're done. Listen to this quote. When the world tells a caterpillar hmm. its life is over, hmm. the butterfly objects, my life has just begun. Oh. <laughs> Why? That's I've true. overcome. Yes, that's so true. We're overcomers. Yes, we are. Listen, my sister and my brothers, hmm. Relentless Lower Church, and all those that are hearing this, this word around the world, yes. amen. Praise amen. the Lord. Praise God. You can make your you can make a decision tonight yes. to get born again. Yes. You can make and for those who are born again, you can make a decision tonight. I'll never be broken another day of my life. Yes. I'll never be sick another day of my life. I'll never be depressed another day of my life. Well, how, how can the church talk like that? Because you are an overcomer. Amen. Listen, as I close tonight, this last Amen. thing. I'm not believing to receive it. I'm not praying, God, give it to me. Because I'm in him, yes. I have the victory that overcomes the world. Amen. So settle it within yourself. Stop arguing with your wife. 
Stop arguing with your husband. Stop arguing with your family. Stop, be, stop struggling with your teenager. My moms and dads, stop struggling. Put those children in the hands of the Lord. Amen. Pray for your son. Amen. Pray for your daughter. Try to speak to him if you have an open dialogue. But at the end of this, I overcome this. My son shall be the prophet. My daughter shall be the prophetess. My son shall be a pastor. My daughter shall marry well. My, my son shall be a businessman. My daughter shall be a nurse. Whatever it is we're believing, we receive, and we have by faith, we overcome. Absolutely. That's just settle that. Rest. Rest within yourself. Amen. Don't look at your checkbook and be scared. No. Mm -hmm. Rest. I overcome this. Amen. I have a word that came through the mouth of my man and woman of God. Amen. I am an overcomer. Hallelujah. In Jesus' In Jesus mighty name. name. Say, I receive that. I receive Glory that. to God. Come on, let me see those hand claps. <laughs> Thank you, Daniel Hatcher, for join, joining tonight. And uh, Darlene, Carrie, we love you all. Thank you for uh, connecting with this word. And yes. Relentless Global Church, we are so godly proud of you. Yes. And we are humbled to be your pastors on tonight. Yes. And, and Kristen Sons, we love you. And, and let's continue to be faithful to our God. Yes. Let's continue. Hey, Crystal, we love you. Let's continue to be faithful to Jesus Christ. Amen. Let's co continue Hallelujah. to be faithful to hearing the voice of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. So he can lead us. He can guide us into all truth all that will truth. cause me to win and Try overcome out. in my life. Yes. Go to our website again. It's www.relentlessglobalchurch.org. Go to our website. You can give your tithes, your offerings, your gift of love. You can be a blessing to the kingdom of God. Help us to continue to spread this gospel all over the world. Hallelujah. Amen. Our email address is info at relentlessglobalchurch.org. Our church office number for those who like to call, 713-936-6848. Lastly, our mailing address is RGC Relentless Global Church, P.O. Box 2202, Houston, Texas, 77252. And again, we love you. We appreciate you all. Uh, I, I, I saw you, AJ. God bless you, my brother. Appreciate you, man. Praying for you. That the God will bless and continue to bless the Jones household and all of those who continue to connect to this word. The Maple family and the Maple household, we bless you. We love you all. Let's continue to stay together. Let's continue to be faithful. Let's continue to honor our God. Uh, Pastor Ben, anything you'd like to say? Just love to see you in our in-person services. We have two services, one at 830 and one at 10, of course. We have a wonderful time in-house. Yes, we do. We encourage you, if you don't have a church home or if you don't have never been to church before, <laughs> come as you are. Let's just come Amen. and just receive the word. Uh, the atmosphere is always set with his glory and his praise and his worship. Absolutely. And I'm telling you, we will welcome you with open arms. So God bless you. We look forward to seeing and you. And we have many followers that follow us that, that are in this city. There are people that follow us from all over the place and yes. we're grateful for yes, those we followers do. and maybe we got over five six thousand people that follow relentless global church and all glory to god yes. amen i say all glory to god yes, it is. but there are others who are in the city that follow us and you haven't visited yet hey come and visit one time hey. and you you will never have an experience because we, we this is our slogan at relentless global church Relentless Global Church is where? Love, love reigns. Come and experience that love. Praise Come and experience God. the faith of God and, and receive a touch from God Amen. as we minister the word of the living God. Amen. So tonight we bless you. We love you. We yes. declare and decree shalom to your home, shalom, shalom to your family, to Hallelujah. your children. Yes. The blessing of the Lord rest upon you and continue to bless your life. We love you tonight. Love you. See you all on this coming Sunday, 830 and 10 a.m. sharp on time. Shalom. Good night, all. God bless you.